Miniature Market has thousands of board games at discounted prices. Click the direct link below to see all of those discounted games. Hello my friends, just after Gen Con, I did a first impressions of a new CCG or trading card game called Altered. And I showed that this game was very different than most card games because it's not about combat or like dwelling your health down to zero, but it was about sort of like exploring different terrain, but it still had a lot of the uh, you know trading card game feels of building decks and having different starting factions. They all work different, but there was a lot of different uh, technologies and things that were very innovative, not only gameplay wise, but also the way that you manage your collection and scan the QR codes and the way that you can print your own cards on demands and in different languages. And if you haven't seen that, go back and look at that because I go over the different things and aspects that makes that game uh, unique. Right now it's, it's in the lead for me as the most innovative game of the year because of all of those things that it did. Well, since Gen Con, it's been getting a lot of hype. It's now starting to get ready to coming into retail right now. And uh, I just uh, got a big box of tons of different things that you can get for accessories wise for the game, whether it be sleeves and card holders and acrylic tokens and new mats and binders and all these different things. So I just thought it'd be kind of cool to kind of show this off because I know it's really hot right now. People are really digging this. Uh, I enjoyed it from a TCG perspective. And so let me show you a little bit about what's available for altered other than just the, the you know the, the the cards the starter decks and the booster packs so i am going to show you a bunch of these different standees these acrylic ones that are available but first let's go jump over to some of the bigger things like the play mats now this is the paper play mat that comes in your starter deck box. And I want to show you that the play mat itself is actually a lot bigger than this, but of course it's not paper like this. It is beautiful. It is neoprene. Uh, it's, you know, it rolls up nice. It looks good. It's thick. It's absolutely gorgeous. It has the different places, uh, you know, denoted for you, just like the play mat does. And so, you know, you have the spots for your characters going to expeditions for your hero, the reserves spot for the landmarks, your deck and your discard. Of course, the large spot at the bottom for your mana card. Now, each of the factions has a set of premium hero standees. These are all acrylic. So let me open up one of these and show you what they look like next to the normalized tokens. And as you can see, as I scroll through these, these things are beautiful. They, they handle a lot of wear and tear. And you can see that the heroes, you know, are taller than the companions. It gives them different dimension and such. They're just really beautiful. And obviously a huge difference to the components that come in just sort of the standard box there. And speaking of those tokens, there are premium tokens or markers as they show here. These are obviously way nicer than the little paper, well, not paper, but very thin cardboard versions that come with the standard game. I wanna show you in there with these acrylic ones. These are all facing one way. This one I flipped over the other side. You can use it either way. Some of them like to see it embossed on the top. I like to kind of see through, see the to the bottom of it. So they work either way. Like this one actually flips like that as well. Now this is the premium adventure track and I'm showing you the box here so you can see what this looks like. Uh, but as you zoom in here, now you can see that obviously this is a place where you put the, the different terrain cards and the hero cards and the companion cards. But as you can see, they have little lips here. So when you place the card in there, it doesn't sort of, it cannot move off the board. It keeps it in there nice. And it holds those cards in place, even if they're in sleeves or sleed card cases. And it has notches, so it's easy to flip the cards. And here's just a close up of this nice acrylic piece. It's super solid. They also have sleeves for each of the starter factions and they come with 50 art sleeves, one little sleeve. Now I gotta say that these sleeves are really nice because they actually have like a textured background there. They feel nice and thick and obviously when you flip it you have the card there. And here are some of the other ones still in their packages. So you can see it shows you the size, 66 by 92 millimeters. And of course they have one for each of the different other uh, factions, but they also have some ones that are just sort of ge general looking for altered. Uh, and these ones say gray because they have sort of a gray border there. And there's lots of accessories for different ways of storing your cards. This one is an expedition soft box and it ha also has a token box included. And so when I open this, you'll see that there is a space. Now this space holds 50 cards of the you know the a complete deck uh, and even if they're double sleeved and it also again has this sort of extra box here to hold all of your token that sort of snaps shut very nice and it all fits right there so you can just have one deck there 50 cards double sleeved and your tokens next we're going to look at a little bit nicer version of the same type of functionality as a deck a wallet that holds cards and tokens now first of all it looks really nice it feels super nice i don't know what this is on the outside here but it almost feels like a velveteen but it almost leather at the same time here's a really cool feature 
This has a cutout, so you can see which deck is in here without even opening it up. So it has a little slot on the back. I'll show you this in a minute. So you can tell this is from sort of the engineering faction. So you just fold this out, it's magnetized, and it opens up. Now this actually has a little sleeve here that you put that in there, so that shows you what it is. This comes out, it holds a 50 card deck double sleeved, but it also folds down, and now you have your tokens, which is really cool. And the cool thing about this is when it's in here and it's like this and it's face up, the tokens don't flip out. Also, this is removable, of course. So if you didn't want to hold the tokens here, you didn't have extra ones, you could actually put a second set of cards, second deck of cards there too. So it's, it's a really cool design. Next up, we have this Cards Layer Pro 1000. This is a, a very unique thing that you can put a lot of different things in and it's very flexible. So it can store up to two playmats, or even with the playmat tube, and it can hold extra cards as well. And it can even hold the adventure uh, track that I showed you. It's also going to hold 20 altered decks, which essentially is about a thousand cards, even double sleeved uh, with closable inner sleeves. It even has a top compartment for tokens and other things, and it also has, uh, it, you can fit sort of the soft box in there as well if you want. So three of those soft boxes that I showed you, or you could fit two of those wallets or it's any type of combination of those. Now it does have an acrylic uh, divider. So you can actually, if you don't want to use the boxes, you could just put the cards in there like that as well. But here's mine with both play mats in there with the terrain set in the middle so I could hold the cards, all the sleeves that I was showing you, some of the tokens that I haven't opened up yet. Uh, I've only opened up the faction that I like to play with, but just to show you how many things you can actually fit in this thing as well as many of the tokens. Now they have different ways to store your cards if you want to have them in binders. This is a casual album. It's 18 pocket. It holds 360 sleeved cards. Now it has this nice elastic strap to keep it shut. The feeling of this is kind of like that textured feeling of the, of the, the smaller uh, boxes that I showed you earlier. Now when you open this up, it's going to allow you to put the cards in here, but like most good binders is they go in sideways, so they're never gonna sort of fall up or down. And these can all be held double sleeved as well. And last but not least, you have the premium zip up album, which also holds the same amount of cards, 360 double sleeved, but it has a zip up and has a, bit, a much nicer outside edge. So here again, it has that really nice feeling, kind of like the other nice uh, deck boxes that I showed you. Uh, the zipper quality on this, you can tell is, is really nice. It moves really smoothly. And again, you can, Put them in from the side, double sleeved if you want. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, this isn't a review. Um, this is more just like, hey, I think these things are cool because uh, I found this game interesting and different. And so, and I know that a lot of people are liking it. So I hope this helped you sort of like see which things you may or may not want or what are must have for you, what are, you know, eh, well, not that much. Like for me personally, I don't really use the binders that much because, you know, C TCGs aren't things that I, usually dive deep in and I probably still won't with Altered even know how much I like it just because I know how much time it takes those are, tend to be more lifestyle games and as a reviewer I'm playing uh, you know handfuls of new games every week and we don't often get to go back and play the games that we actually really love so uh, for me like the binders that that's not a big deal for me but for other players that's like their lifeline where they keep all their cards you know and organized and they keep them there so they can go around and build different decks and things like that and that's great like for me like the card holder the one that holds the mats and the the acrylic play uh, area and the one that holds the tokens and all the like starter decks and then maybe some booster packs. Like for me, that's like the coolest things, the tokens, uh, the mats and the things that holds it all. So for me, those things I found most interesting, but for you, maybe you have a better idea after I've shown these things up to you close. This has been the Game of the Geek, breaking down barriers, growing relationships with board games by helping you on the next one you'll love. Game Toppers upgrades every game you play, and their 4.5 Kickstarter introduced the new Galactic Mycroft and Watson Game Toppers with interchangeable rail inlays, as well as new game mats, miniature gaming terrain packs, leg kit options, dining covers, accessories, and amazing package deals. The campaign recently ended, but it's not too late to pledge late at GameToppersLLC.com.